traceability, the ability to follow the movement of food through specified stages of production, processing and distribution. Traceability enables you to track the movement of a product or ingredient through the entire food chain, limiting the discontinuity of the information and providing you with verifiable record keeping and documentation for an effective food control system. In July 2003, APEDA took the first step towards implementing traceability in grapes to meet the needs of the evolved consumers of the European Union. Pioneering the traceability system in India, APEDA and the grapes community rose to the complex challenges. The complexities were largely due to the plethora of stakeholders in the supply chain of grapes export. The farmers, state government horticulture departments, pack houses, exporters, the laboratories, the phytosanitary department and finally APEDA, the nodal agency for promotion. Adopting an all-inclusive approach, APEDA's aim was to build a system to international standards. Formulating a regulation by the Indian government clearly spelling out the procedures to be followed by all stakeholders in the grape sector. Train the stakeholders to fulfill the requirements of the regulation co-opt the monitoring agencies in the government and private sector and finally generate the necessary documentation trail for the importers. And thus was born a path-breaking regulation called the Regulation of Export of Fresh Grapes from India to the European Union through Monitoring of Pesticide Residues. Today this regulation has put in place standards to meet international market demands. Agencies to test compliance with these standards and no export of fresh grapes can happen to the European Union without adhering to this system. Needless to say the initiative has worked with spectacular results and the smiles are spreading. So how did APEDA make this happen? A pioneer in using IT for promotion of agri-exports from India, APEDA used all the innovation at its command to design an integrated monitoring software in 2006 covering all stakeholders in the supply chain with a centralized database. So let's see how the system works. The application of this system starts at the very root of the process. Registration of farmers up to plot level at district headquarters by the state horticulture departments and subsequently issuing a registration certificate to the farmers. Each plot is identified by a unique 12-digit registration number. The system facilitates the state horticulture departments to tabulate their inspection details on completing their visits to the farms, after which they can recommend to the laboratories to take samples for testing for pesticide residues. Farmers can approach any of the APEDA recognized laboratories for testing their produce. The recommendation is mandatory and at plot level. The laboratories record the details of the samples drawn from each plot for testing and conduct stringent testing for about 90 pesticides for residue levels. This system automatically finds out from the test measurements entered whether the sample qualifies for export to specified countries and generates the test reports. These laboratories are among the best in the world having high precision and calibrated equipments using validated procedures and are ISO 17025 compliant. They are accredited to India's National Accreditation Board for Testing Laboratories or NABL which has an equivalence arrangement with ILAC and APLAC. Each plot is tested for pesticide residues. In case the tests fail, the National Referral Laboratory or NRL is automatically informed and they confirm whether an internal alert is required for this farm's produce, restricting it from export to the European Union. Exporters can only source produce from the plots of the farmers whose samples pass through these tests. Then they proceed to apply for the necessary AGMARC certification for quality and grade classifications. At this stage, they provide the lot details, listing the registration number of the plots from where the sourcing is done. Exporters are identified by their APEDA registration number. District AGMARC officers have authorized accredited laboratories to check compliance for their standards through a physical inspection at the pack house where these lots are being put together to create a consignment for export. 
Before proceeding for their inspection, the laboratories use the online system to generate a unique AgMark inspection ID for each lot to be inspected. And this ID is pasted on the pallet of grapes. Only those lots are accepted by the system that have passed the residue tests for the destination country. After this inspection, an ID for the Certificate of AgMark Grading or CAG ID is created by the laboratories listing out the individual AgMark inspection report IDs covered under them for this particular consignment of an exporter. AgMark officers issue AgMark certificate or CAG to the exporter through this integrated software. The plot number of the farmer and exporter registration number are all linked at this stage to the AgMark inspection ID and to the CAG ID. The next in the chain are the phytosanitary departments at district level who carry out verification of the consignment at the registered pack houses and issue phytosanitary certificates through this system. CAG is mandatory for issue of phytosanitary certificates. How does this system ensure traceability? This can be traced from the phytosanitary certificate that accompanies each consignment exported from India to the European Union. The phytosanitary certificate carries a certificate number and that number electronically leads to the AgMark certificate number and then to AgMark inspection ID generated at the plot level. Look for the AgMark inspection ID on each pallet in the container and tally with the one mentioned on the CAG. If the numbers tally, then you're assured of the quality and safety of grapes. It is completely traceable. Once this comprehensive 360 degree evaluation procedure is complete, the consignment is declared fit and ready for shipment. So what makes this APIDA initiative superior to conventional systems? Firstly, it's sheer simplicity. The software can be easily used anywhere, anytime, 24-7, by all authorized stakeholders. All they need to use is a commonly available web browser through their internet connection in a secured environment. It is supported by a dedicated call center with turnaround time of 2 to 10 minutes. Zero paperwork and zero mistakes. Completely credible and foolproof. No document can be issued without going through the software. It has virtually reduced duplication in data capture and enables instant reference of previous steps in the supply chain. The inbuilt checks and balances in the software are another huge plus. It ensures that the succeeding steps can be carried out only if the preceding steps were successfully complied with. Finally, and most importantly, a PEDA can trace details of the consignment right up to the plot level because every plot that you receive grapes from has been tested for pesticide residues. Quite simply, it adds up to a foolproof tracking system for grape exports from India to the European Union and ushers in a new era of technology-aided trade. For APIDA, this is just the beginning. We're already working on implementing the globally renowned GS1 standards for traceability as a part of the system to get international acceptance. The next step is to replicate the successful model for other fresh products as well. So that in the days to come, India, the second largest producer of fresh fruits and vegetables, shall also emerge as a dependable and quality supplier of fresh produce in the international market. Thank you.